Hello everyone, it's Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone is doing fantastic on this Wednesday. If I sound funny, once again, <laughs> I had more dental work done. It's gonna be like a theme, God knows for how long, but um, I think I'm gonna take a week off from the dentist just cause uh, my pocketbook and bank tell me so. Um, and uh, yeah, I just need a break. But anyway, so if I sound funny, I'm sorry. If you're new here, hi, thanks for being new. This is my um, preview slash, I guess it's kind of a haul video. Um, thanks for being here. If you are a returning jewelry friend, hello. Thank you so much for clicking and watching my video. I do appreciate it. Like I said, this is my preview for my live auction slash a little bit of bite nails, which is tomorrow evening. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is, um, Thursday, September 5th um, at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you would like to participate and you have not yet registered, please register before you participate in the auction. Um, I will have information um, in the description of this lovely video. It's just a jot form, real simple, fill it out, press send, you are registered. Fantastic. What else? Hmm, I don't know. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Anyway, um, nothing new has been going on. It's just been hot here. I hope everyone had a lo nice long weekend. Um, yeah, okay, do I have my microphone on this time? I do, yay. Um, oh, I gotta say what YouTube tells me to say, okay. If you could please subscribe, that would be fantastic. I would so appreciate it. It takes a second, it's free. If you don't ever wanna see one of my videos, just don't press the notification bell. But if you would like to know when I upload, press the notification bell and it will let you know. Um, and that's that's it. Oh, and thumbs up, please. Yeah, okay, there we go, yay. Um, I am going to show you some things. So I guess I'll start with this. This is, I'm gonna probably say it incorrectly. This is an antique, it is, Upper, ready? Upper column, upper column. Oh boy, O P E R C U L U M, upper column. Uh, this is sterling silver, and this is uh, supposedly over 100 years old. So, don't yell at me. <laughs> Here's the back. Uh, upper column was known to be. I, they used it a lot in Victorian jewelry. Um, it is a part of a shell. If I'm, yeah, I think I'm pretty right there. And uh, they look like little eyes. They would keep the bad, bad things away from you and the good things near you, basically. So we've got this beautiful necklace. It is all in sterling silver. It is in remarkable condition. There's no cracks, chips, or anything to the upper column. Okay, there's the necklace. Um, I also have a bracelet. It's also set in sterling. Um, these are going to be sold separately. I didn't did not buy them as a set. I did purchase them separately from the same person. Uh, the bracelet is tiny, um, and so I want everyone to have the opportunity if they would like an antique to be able to purchase um, at least the necklace. Because the necklace, although it's not super long, it has this it has the thumb clasp. But I can always add sterling silver jump rings to this to extend it a bit. That's not a problem because I do have the sterling for it. Um, so this would be you know for anyone could wear this uh, particular one. Not everyone could wear this tiny little bracelet, okay? But it is going to be offered tomorrow. I was gonna keep it, but I, I decided not to. The dentist, my teeth needs the dentist. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So anyway, there we go. I've got that gorgeous thing there. Um, and I also, uh, people have been saying, Kirsten, can you find Dragon's Breath in slightly bigger size? Because I know I have little fingers. Um, this was one that I found recently. Um, it is a size, it's not a big size, but it's not a size four and a half or five. This is a six and a half. I mean, I don't know if that's gonna help, but anyway, really cool. This is a old one, different. This one uh, is, I think, I don't know if this one is Native American or Mexican. Let's see, oh, I think it says Mexico. I don't have my loop. Uh, this one says Mexico. So this one is from Mexico. Uh, we've got Dragon's Breath here. Sorry, not all my lights are on and this is not cleaned yet. So you can't see the coolness. Uh, really nice that they did the, they cut it like an actual stone, not just a, a simple cab. Anyway, really cool, pretty piece. Different, I usually get the real um, flowery kind of ones or the real, uh, you know, Fred Harvey error looking kind. So this is not either. So I thought this was really pretty. Um, it goes well with the theme of a lot of my Mexican jewelry. So we've got this gorgeous one. I will have it clean tomorrow. Hopefully I'll remember to do that better. What else? Okay, so I bought this for myself. Yes, we know this is the same old saga and I didn't care on the size because I just, I okay, I sold one and I don't regret 
normally selling any of my stuff, but there was this one ring that I sold and I kind of regretted selling it, you know, and I've never been able to find a replacement for it. Um, but this stone, not the ring, but the stone, anyway, this is Chalcedony. This is a much older piece. Uh, I'm going to call it Vantique. It's not quite an antique, but it is way vintage. It is big, beautiful. Let me take off some of my things. Um, and it's just too big for me. And I have to wear, and you can't wear other rings with it. I tried, but you see how this is cut like that? So the other rings sit funny. So it's just very uncomfortable. Um, it's If it fits you, it would be a very comfortable ring. Unfortunately, it is just too big for me. And I can't, I mean, I'm not going to wear it as a thumb ring. That's just kind of silly. And it's kind of too big on my thumb too. So it is just absolutely gorgeous. I love, this is one of my, this is my favorite color of Cal Sydney. Um, very glowy, kind of that, I don't know. It's like like heaven to me. I don't know. It's like a bluish, grayish, periwinkle, just yumminess. And you've got an internal glow. It is open, so natural light will go through it. And like I said, I do not have all my studio lights on. Can you? So you can't see the gorgeousness. And look at the setting. Really well done. It's a nice, chunky ring. Very cool. So, yeah, my stupidity, once again, pays off for you all because sometimes I just fall in love with the whole thing and don't realize that I need to wear it and um <laughs> might not be my size so okay so you know that's gonna be here too um okay let me see da, da, da. what am I gonna show I'm not even sure oh I do have two of these um I sold one and um uh I was unable I asked if they could get them made bigger blah 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 and like you know of course you know I don't always get a response back so I do have two more of these hand tooled leather this one has lapis inset, and this one has um, labradorite inset. And they're, these are all handmade, and they have the little lock. They're fantab fantabulous. Fant now, this is just from the leather. This, you know, that's just, not, that's just the front page. But um, you have great just blank pages. So if you want to throw it in your purse, if you back pocket, whatever. It's a nice size. It's not too big. It's easy to port around. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and sell it to you, but... Um, well, I could, but uh, it's just gorgeous. And this is all handmade. And, you know, I'm down for that for sure. Especially add a little gemstone to it. Why not? So I do have two of these available. Um, and I think that's it. I don't think I have any more that I'll be, that are coming in unless maybe for the holidays or something. Um, but they're hard, they're getting, I've only had three and they were hard to get. So, mm. but I like them a lot. So anyway, okay. What else do I want to show? Well, I might as well. I wasn't going to show it. Um, this is amazing. Now, there are new and old, and this is an old one, okay? Um, this is um, a signed piece. This is Los Pastaleros. This is uh, way vintage. <laughs> Sterling silver. We do have the coral, the turquoise, and the amethyst. Um, the chain, this goes all the way around. So this is an old one. This one's like, you know, like, 50s you know 40s 50s so this is not a new one they do because it was such a popular style two people did that style Mattel is one and Los Pastelleros was the other people didn't realize a lot of times they shared their jewelers their design team and they would give and take a little bit here and there same with the molds anyway now that's an old one now these are I don't want to say these are new but these are a newer um, they're not that old okay so these similar style but these are much more like 90s and these don't have any they just have the tasco i don't even know I, you know i'm not going to say they're not claiming them oh they do have something well i'll look into who it is oh my god is this who it is am i lying am i completely am i showing you the wrong ones well i don't know I'll have to look. I might be showing you the wrong ones. Regardless, I don't know. Take back everything I just said. I don't know if these are the new or old ones. Um, just because I saw the maker's mark on it, and uh, it could be, it could be someone. Whatever. I'm selling them anyway. The I'll double check on <laughs> who made them, um, and that will determine the price. But uh, they're fantastic. I bought them for myself. They're too heavy for me. Um, I really, really want a pair because I have a, a necklace very similar to that one. And I'm not so matchy-matchy, but I guess the older I'm getting, I kind of like a little teeny matchy-matchy. I can't believe I just said that on the interwebs, but I sure am. Anyway, so these are beautiful. So take back what I said about new versus old. I don't know. I thought these were the new, new ones. They might not be. So <laughs> I love when I make a fool out of myself on my own videos, but I guess that's okay because 
I'd rather catch my mistake now than, you know, live and trying to auction them and having the incorrect information. So I'll just look into them more, but they will be here. <laughs> wow, Kirsten. Okay. You still here? Hello? Okay. I'm telling you, I'm going to say it's all the Novocaine. It's making me loopy. Who knows? Um, this is another signed Mexican piece. Um, this is a, what is it? A, uh, I'm 99.999% sure that this is a, you know, whatever, a uh, lab created Alexandrite. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, natural and very expensive. This does change colors. And also it changes, I think, not from the green to the purple. This is the blue to the purple. So that means something. I'm sure all my actual people that know a lot about stones will tell me, but regardless, this is an amazing piece. Um, it is a signed, I don't know what it says. I don't have my thing on. Don't look at that. That, what? It, okay. This happens to me. I, sometimes I get my things at a certain marketplace and that's how they, they do their stuff. I don't know. I don't have my loop with me because why would I be prepared? It's a preview. <laughs> Story of my life. Anyway, it's gorgeous. Take my word for it. It's fantabulous. Um, it's not Los Pastoleros. I know that. That one is. And that would be way expensive if it was. Um, I can't remember. Please forgive me. Okay. That being said, I do have some really cool uh, coral. This is sterling silver coral, really awesome ring. Um, large size, amazing turquoise sterling silver. I could tell you, I do have my ring mandrel here, so I could tell you at least what size this one is. This is a size 10, and look at this gorgeous one. Absolutely stunning. I've had one similar. This is not the same Native American. This is not running bear or anything like that. Um, this is just a... Uh, I think this is actually an older one. Um, I no artist mark except for Sterling. Really great. Oh, excuse me. I have too many rings on. Great ring. Okay. Really pretty turquoise. Very bright turquoise. Very turquoise turquoise. Okay. Let's go to. Hmm, I don't even know. This is always. Um, I do have some beautiful marcasite jewelry that I will be bringing. Not a lot, but um, this is also a larger size. This I purchased um, when I was back east um, outside of Philadelphia. This is a size nine. Um, I was at an antique, it wasn't, well, they called it a flea market. It was not a flea market. I'm gonna call it an antique mall, I don't know. But um, this gorgeous thing here, um, si this is, what I say, a size nine. This is an actual uh, old art deco. This is not a repo or anything like that. You can always tell by the settings, the way that, it, you, when, you, when you know, you know, when you've had them enough in your hands. Oh, I could show you. I can actually show you. New versus old. Even the marcasites are different. This is a gorgeous ring. I love it. Garnet and marcasite sterling silver. Absolutely stunning. But this is a reproduction of a deco ring. This is an actual deco ring. Um, really great that it's a larger size. I don't come into contact with that often with deco rings in particular. It is sterling silver. All the marcasites are present. It is in fantastic condition. And I'm sorry, my camera is getting blurry. There we go. Anyway, so we've got these two. <laughs> they will be here. I also have another um, onyx and marcasite ring, which is in between the ages of those two. It is not, uh, it's not Art Deco oh, from that Art Deco period, but it's also not a new one. I'm going to say this is probably, I have no idea. I really honestly can't date this one. I know I've had it for a very long time. Um, and um, I don't know, is it from the 50s, 40s? So who knows? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't want to give the wrong information. Anyway, uh, this is mine, um, but I I'm very, very hard on my jewelry, um, and um, the only Marcusite jewelry that I have actually saved for myself is stuff that was like family stuff, like uh, my husband's, you know, uh, mother-in-law, you know, that kind of stuff, who's given me that kind of stuff from their mother or whatever. The real old stuff is what I'm saying um, that was given to me. Um, so, uh, you know, because it's just a sentimental thing, I guess. Um, but because this was one that I had purchased for myself, you know, I'm not sentimentally attached to it. Although it is an absolutely stunning, gorgeous ring. It is a size six and a half. Beautiful. But anyway, so if anyone is interested, and all the marcasites here are present. They're all prong set. I mean, it's a really great ring. Okay. Yay. <laughs> um, what else? I will have some buy it now. It's like I always do. Um, I have quite a few earrings and I don't know, did I show this last week or did I show it in the preview? I'll show it too. I don't remember if I showed this in the preview, but I never made it to sale. So we've got this cool retro. It is a brooch that you attach to yourself. And then you have a long gold filled and it's a little pencil and the lead is still in there. Um, 
I just really liked it. Um, you know, I someone told me, oh, this is for nurses. I have no idea. Um, it has the maker on it and everything, and it's in remarkable condition. Now, I've had them before where they are beat, beat, beat up, and this one's not. Yeah, there's a little tiny bit of, you know, gold filling wear, uh, a little bit to the pencil, you know, where you would actually use it. But in general, it is in fantastic condition. Anyway, and I think it's cool that you can see the patent, the maker's mark, gold filled, that there's still lead in it. You know, very cool piece. So, like a nostalgia. So I brought that. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know. I have a bunch. Oh, this is really cool, and I do want to show it. This is a handmade, this is a much older piece, like I keep saying, but this is. This is a handmade um, sterling silver and garnet. This is a cross, but look how gorgeous this is. How it's all hand forged. Absolutely stunning. Love that a lot. So I will have that here. And um, I do have a little bit of beaded stuff, not much, um, but uh, this I couldn't resist. It's all sterling silver and lapis and a bunch of other stuff. And it has a great toggle with a bead hanging from it. Um, and I just thought it was really pretty. Uh, they are all silk knotted in between all of them. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to wear the toggle back, side, front. You wear it however you want to wear it. But because it has a sweet little dangly bit, I kind of like it on the front. Um, and I thought it looked really nice with <laughs> this. They're two different lists. We've got this beautiful. This looks more like sodalite to me, but who, what do I know? Just because of all the white in it. But it's a great old vintage piece. I love the setting of it. Just really high quality. Um, and it came to me on uh, this rope sterling chain. And they really do look great layered. I'll put them on a bus tomorrow, but they look fantastic together. So I figured I'd bring that. And speaking along the lines of lapis or sodalite or blue stones this just came in this is gorgeous very pretty love the detail on the side all handmade now this one is lapis we do have a bit of the pyrite in the lapis really sweet ring nice it's a nice size too nice chunky 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 piece um, i am trying to get all sizes of rings but you have to, you know, say during my sale because I just pull X amount, but I do have like back stock. Believe I have a little bit of back stock. I'm so proud of myself, um, but not a lot. So you just need to say, Kirsten, do you have a blah, blah, blah. Now, the teeny, teeny ones I have some of and the huge, huge ones I don't have a lot of. They're harder to get. Okay. They just are. Um, I do have these beautiful, look at these. These are malachite and sterling silver. Really nice size. Just absolutely stunning. Uh, they actually have backs to them, which is amazing. Uh, beautiful. Love them. And speaking along the lines of malachite, I have this. This is a sign piece from what I remember. Sterling silver malachite cuff bracelet. Now, granted, this is Navajo. These are not. Okay. So, like, this is just a really pretty. looks very Tibetan, you know, Thailand. Who knows? I don't know where those are from. But um, it's a great bracelet. I love it. Very traditional with the feathers, really pretty. Solid tooth, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here's another signed piece here, another sterling. This is for a larger wrist. Who makes this one? I don't know. It is signed sterling and then it has like different maker marks and I don't know all of my maker marks for uh, Navajo and Hopi. I'm pretty sure this one is Navajo though, but I will double check on it. Very cool. What else? I don't even know. Um, I'll show one more thing. This one I've shown once before and I've completely slashed the price. I was kind of surprised that it was still here. It is a larger size. This is a Vantique. <laughs> it is sterling silver and enamel. And they have the beautiful butterfly slash moths, I guess. Um, absolutely stunning. And it has the original safety to it really gorgeous it's a more dainty bracelet for sure it's not some big chunky hunky one um, but it's absolutely stunning and it is larger size um, so just it falls off of me i'll tell you what size it is but i have sliced the, sliced the price <laughs> slash the price it is seven and three quarters of an inch so it is it's a it's a big one and the colors and the enamel is amazing i mean this thing's at least 80 years old or more and the enamel is absolutely stunning beautiful anyway so this is here um yep 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 and of course i have my tasco i have you know i have what 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 i what mommy why is i gonna call myself mommy 
I guess I'm thinking about my kid. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I swear I didn't take any medication except for the stuff they shot my mouth up with to drill in my face. But anyway, if you're still here, I do appreciate y'all being here. Thank you so much. Once again, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red V Sale. My sale is tomorrow and I'll have all these lovely goodies and a lot, lot more. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the follow and the new subscribers and my old subscribers and everything. Anyway, mwah, I'm gonna give you all hugs and love and please, please, please be kind to everyone around you. You never know what they're going through. Crazy, crazy world we live in, but don't forget you need to be kind to yourselves. It always has to start at home. Okay, hugs, love, I love you all. Hope to see you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Almost had it. Okay, bye-bye.